Welcome back to another FNA and today is part two of animation demo reel tips and tricks and last time was all about the best shot first and general tips and today it's all about demo reel structure how to present it what to include and the length of it and all that good stuff. So first of all a few general tips about your demo reel structure and just the content of it. As mentioned in part one Whatever you do, the content has to fit the company you're sending your reel to. Before you do even anything, you got to consider that. So if you do anything super cartoony and you send that to a VFX company, it's probably not going to be the best idea. Generally, content wise, just avoid anything about politics and sexual jokes and racial stuff and anything that's just offensive and clearly not the content that the company wants to see or wants to be associated with. Also super obvious, don't include work from other people. Don't steal other people's shot. It's a small industry. Chances are whoever's gonna watch this is gonna go, wait, I know this shot, this is from this and this and this person. This is not yours and you're toast. Also, don't include shots you're not allowed to show. Maybe you're working on the movie and that movie hasn't been released yet. So you're not allowed to put this online unless it's been shown in the behind the scenes or it's a trailer shot. But then it has been approved by PR and all the marketing department for everybody to see as general consumption. So you can put that on your reel. Other than that, if the movie hasn't been released or anything else that hasn't been released yet, you should not show it on your reel, especially online if you put it online. If you send it to a company, maybe if you have permission and you got to put it behind a password wall, then maybe. But generally, you want to put things on your reel that have been released on DVD, Blu-ray, streaming, video on demand, and so on. Which also implies that if the movie hasn't come out yet, how are you in possession of those shots? Did you steal that from the company server? Another big no-no, don't do that. Now, in terms of demo reel structure and presentation, you want to keep your shots clean. So only show geometry so don't do anything with controllers or your grid or anything that's distracting you just want to show something very clean yes this can be just a play blast and it doesn't have to be a render unless your shot is 100 percent awesome and then the render will help but generally if your shot is not 100 percent awesome and you add lighting it's a bit why did you do this to spend more time on your animation and don't go all that way down to you know all the sound effects and and renders and all that stuff just Focus on animation and keep it clean visually. Now only include your best work. That's super important. You might like this shot that you did 10 years ago and you have good fond memory and all that good stuff, but you're gonna be judged by the worst shot that's on your reel. So only the good stuff. And in terms of structure, your best shot has to come first. And I talked about that in part one. So generally a shorter reel that's awesome is better than a long one that's kind of eh. You want your reel to also be one or two minutes long. I think two minutes is stretching it. Personally, if you've seen everything after 30 seconds in a way, I mean, you don't have to pad it. It's a three minute to five minute reel. If you just dump everything that you've ever done on it, it's kind of, it's very boring. So keep it to one, maybe two minutes. I would say one minute is okay. Shot wise, you can even just have three shots on it. I've seen a reel and it was pretty cool. I gotta find it. And it was three shots and that person got into blue sky and it showed it was a good variety. It was just enough. Two shots is kind of short. One shot is kind of arrogant. I don't know. I want to see a reel that has one shot and that person got a job. Maybe somewhere, but I would say at least three shots and around a minute, maximum two minutes. Because the thing is, if you have a reel that's over a minute, chances are you're going to repeat yourself in, in terms of the content of your shots. If you have an awesome creature shot or awesome weight assignment shot or awesome lip sync emotional shot why have two or three of them you're already shown that you can do it so why repeat yourself and make it extra long chances are people will be bored and will turn off your reel and miss something awesome that you might have at the end of the reel speaking of ends the end has to end as strongly as the beginning i mean generally your shot your whole reel has to be fantastic right but i would say the best shot first the second best shot at the end and still awesome awesomeness in the middle. Now, you might have shots where you've done the camera, where you might have done only the background, or you might have done just certain elements. So what you could include is the shot explanation, meaning that you have either symbols or by text saying camera only, all animation or foreground characters and camera or only background. So you could include that either with text or with icons. But the thing is, then people are gonna be distracted and look up and down. So it would be better if your shot, just everything in the shot is something that you did. It will be easier to watch and for the flow, just, it won't be as distracting. But of course that is not the reality. You might've done just the background. So then you just kind of have to let people know through text or icons, whatever you wanna do. You might also include a shot before and after for context. Maybe it's really important to be seen like that. So what I would do is if your shot is not yours, just 
gray it out. Just have it gray, then yours is all poppy with full colors and everything. And the next one for context is gray. You can always note for context only. Now, speaking of text, if you do have your title card or explanations of what it is, like a tiny shot, real breakdown type of thing, right? Spell check, make sure everything is written. If you have your name and then animation is misspelled, I mean, I know it's not the end of the world and you're gonna be judged by the content of your reel, but still just take the extra time. It will show that you just made an effort. Just check, spell check. So then speaking of title cards, you wanna start with maybe like a three second beginning intro card, meaning it's your name and character animator, like the title that you're applying to, and potentially even the year, like demo reel 2019. But it will keep it short, it's just, Okay, this is who I am, let's go. And you wanna show the shots. Don't make it 10, 15 seconds and no flying logos or stuff coming in or anything that's just boring. And I wanna to get to the reel right away. That being said, at the end of the reel, then I will make it 10 or 15 seconds where you have your name, your title, and all the contact information. And then keep that long just in case someone goes, well, I gotta write this down, I'll type it on my phone, or whatever sound you make as you type it right. But you wanna give people time to be like, oh, okay, well, let's write this down. Well, that's the link for this and so on and so on. But I will keep that at the end and not the beginning because again, you wanna go straight into your awesome shots. The cleanest thing, of course, would be your name, title, maybe the year, and responsible for all animation. And then just the real starts and you got no logos, you got no icons or no text. You can just focus on your shots. That's the ideal thing. Now you might want to add music. So I would just add music that fits the reel. So if you have something where it's like an emotional acting shot and you in the background, you got like some crazy music in the background, that's going to be a weird contrast and distract from your shot. So if you already add music, make sure it adds to the shot. It complements the shot. It could have high energy or something more quiet. Worst case, just no music. Now, speaking of something loud, also make sure that your sound levels are even throughout the reel. So if you have your intro, whatever, and then you have your first shot at a certain level, and the second shot is really quiet, you're like, oh, I can't, I can't hear, I missed something in the dialogue. If you're in a hurry, they might not rewind, and they're gonna miss what you just did, and the next shot is suddenly super loud, like, ah, it's chaos, pandemonium, and they might turn off the reel, I'm exaggerating. But anyway, keep your shots really, at each level has to be the same. So for music and, and dialogue and everything, just make sure that everything flows and also sounds consistent. Now, structure-wise, in terms of what you're presenting, it's okay to show professional work and personal work. It doesn't have to be all separate, but maybe your professional work is not always the best thing you've ever done, depending on you know feedback and how the shot ends up being. So you can add things that you did in your spare time. And it also shows that you took time to do something that's even better. You just wanna flesh out your reel it just shows you extra commitment, so it's not bad to mix all that. And speaking of mixing, to me, I think it's okay to mix the variety and the order, meaning it's not, here's a block of all creature, here's a block of all lip sync, here's a block of all pantomime. It might That might also flow in a kind of a boring way where it's just too structured. And I think mixing it up and kind of showing this and then this and then that, it might just you know give it a certain energy to the reel. Now, you might have a shot that's really long where maybe two thirds are okay, maybe the middle part or the ending is not the best, just cut it out, just show the best part. And if everything is awesome, but it's a 15 second long shot, then maybe show if you can, if it's cuttable into beats, maybe show one moment, then other shots, then another moment, other shots, and then that last moment of that one long shot. Just always think about how is the flow, are people interested, or is it is there a moment where things become a bit boring? Now, this is all in terms of acting and pantomime and just creature stuff where it's kind of A to B, but what if you do have cycles? I think I, cycles are okay, depending on where you want to send it to. I would not have shots where there's a cycle front view, and then you repeat that a couple of times, and then a cycle side view repeat a couple of times, and then the top view, like it gets really, really long. So I would just present everything into one shot, just cycle a couple of times, so it's not just 15 frames, then you missed it, but don't make it a minute long. But I would show you know a side, front, three quarter, and maybe a top if needed, just it gets maybe too busy, but definitely a three quarter. Or if you wanna just make it super clean, just have the cycle and then it just turns. I mean, like there's a turntable, or the camera turns, however you wanna structure it. But so you can see kind of every view, um, but that might again be too long. So it might just be one size, the three quarter, and maybe a front and side split up in the other half. Now, you might have worked something where you use reference, either yourself or reference for creature work or whatever you do. I think, and I haven't seen this too much, but this is, this is my personal opinion. You could show just your actual shot within the reel. 
And when the whole thing is done and you show your title card with your contact information, you can always set at the end additional material at the end in terms of like a behind the scenes or how I did it. So after that information, you show the creature shot, whatever you have, with a picture in picture with your reference. And maybe it shows multiple footage pieces you put together into one block and then you took all this and made this one awesome animation shot. It could be cool to see how you went from reference to final animation. I'm not sure if you want to show this in the main reel. Again, this is very subjective. I would probably just keep the clean shot in the middle and at the very end, you can show, hey, this is what I did and this is the reference that I used and blah, 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 blah. Now, speaking of the end, you might have done a short movie, but you know, chances are not every shot is awesome or not every shot is a demo reel shot. Sometimes you have a shot that's very static that works as a story point or a storytelling thing or for contrast, but as a single shot on your reel, maybe not that good. So what I would do is take the best shot from your short, put that in your reel, and then at the end, you can say, here's the link if you want to see the full short, or maybe even add the full short at the end of the reel. If people have time to watch it, I'm not sure. But that could be something, either at the end of the reel or show a link where people can go and they can watch the whole thing. That's kind of it. Those are my two cents to demo reel structure. I probably forgot things, I got a list here, but that's kind of what I was thinking about. If you have other things that I miss, obviously in the comments, you can let me know and I can always add that. And maybe at the very end of this series, I can do kind of a wrap up and kind of add things that I forgot or people suggested. So comments are open, of course. And that's it for now for part two. As always, if you watch this till the very end, I really do appreciate it. If you're gonna like this, you can hit like, you're gonna subscribe, you can hit subscribe and hit that bell button because I do upload a lot so you get all the notifications. And as always, if you find that all of this is helpful, you wanna apply this to your shots, but you want a one-on-one -on -one feedback, I do have workshops, they're always open. You can sign up, link in the description, the emails and all that good stuff, let me know. I am always ready for workshops. So there you go. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next clip.